In this video, I'll show you the best ways to start making money as a blockchain developer, even if you're just starting out and don't have a job yet. Now, I've worked full time as a software engineer in the blockchain space for years now, but I've also made so much money in this space outside of my regular nine to five job. So I'm going to give you some ideas along with sharing some things that I've done to make money outside of a traditional job in Web3. The first thing is, of course, launching your own Web3 project. If you look at the Dune Analytics project for this protocol that was launched just a year ago, they've made over $40 million in revenue from charging fees for their protocol. Thanks to AI, solopreneurship is taking off like never before. Everybody's launching their own projects, their own startups, and there's tools that make it faster and easier than it ever has been. A few years ago, I would never have recommended launching your own Web3 project as a good idea for a new beginner to make money in Web3. There were too many ways to mess up, and don't get me wrong, that's definitely still a thing. But there's a lot of tools and resources now that can help you, a lot of pre-audited smart contracts that you can leverage, and more funding from companies and organizations that can support you. I think grant projects are an awesome option for this. I did this with my ZK web project. There's a couple videos about that also on this channel. But basically a year ago, I launched an open source developer tool to help builders work with zero knowledge proofs. The tool was completely free. I built it for fun, but that resulted in me getting multiple paid opportunities in the space, including core membership with ZK Monk, which if you happen to be a developer or a cryptographer interested in building with zero knowledge proofs, I'll link ZK Monk down below definitely consider joining the organization. We do summer bootcamp programs to help builders learn how to create projects in the space, but that's a side note. I also then later on in the year ended up getting a grant from Mina Protocol to rebuild some of the architecture using Mina's platform. So that's really something to keep in mind. If there's a particular Web3 tool or tech stack that you like to use, take a look through the grant programs offered by those projects, because a lot of these projects will offer incentives to builders to join cohorts with different milestones and create a project that uses their tech stack. The second way to make money is freelance and contract work. Now, before you say, oh, well, that's obvious, I want to point out that Web3 skills are valuable beyond crypto industries. I think this is where most people make the mistake. They try to offer their services to various Web3 companies because they're like, I'm a Web3 developer. But many of these projects already have a full-time engineering staff or maybe they're not hiring. I think the best place to go for this is to look outside crypto. Think about how Web3 technology can be applied to real use cases. I've made a video before about DC decentralized science. If you're interested in science or medicine type fields, there's a lot of opportunities popping up there for work in the decentralized space. And a lot of the people involved in those spaces are not tech professionals. They're in other parts of the science world. And they need people who understand Web3 tech to help them implement these ideas and solutions that they're working on. For something like DSci, you may need to start out by offering your services on a volunteer basis in order to make some connections. The good thing is that with many of these projects, you know, you'd be working towards a good cause. So that makes it a little bit easier to volunteer, but once you've built up a good track record with the project and networked a little bit, you'll be able to find paid opportunities as well. Another free piece of advice here, um, I've been getting a lot of freelance requests from real estate companies lately. Real estate seems to be moving into some blockchain-based solutions very rapidly. I don't personally have a lot of time for freelance work right now, but if you do, maybe consider taking a look at the real estate industry as a potential opportunity. The third way to make money as a Web3 developer is doing non-code work for Web3 companies. Many Web3 Web3 projects need technical writers for documentation, they need DevRel people, and they need educational content in general. Marketing, community management, and biz dev type roles are much easier for developers who already understand the tech than if they just go hire someone who's a social media management professional but doesn't know anything about Web3. It has been my experience that many of these companies overwhelmingly prefer someone with technical knowledge to create this content for them, but it's extremely hard for them to find. The overlapping skill set of being able to create videos or create blog blog content with someone who can actually build and develop using Web3 tools is a rare combination. Today it's easier than ever to create content and write blog posts. Of course, you can use AI to help you. I used to have to pay someone $30 an hour on my staff to help me write scripts for these YouTube videos and technical blogs for different companies that I was servicing. Now you don't even need to amass a team if you have a bunch of different clients. You can use AI to help you organize your thoughts. It still requires that human knowledge to edit it, to make sure everything's correct, to make sure it has has that human tone, but AI can really help you organize your thoughts and speed up your writing process much faster. So even if you're someone who prefers to be a developer and maybe doesn't like the content creation side so much, it's a little bit more of a viable option now for someone like you to be able to do both. And of course, creating Web3 content can always lead to sponsorships, grants, and even full-time roles. So just to quickly recap, you don't need a traditional job at a crypto company in order to make money in Web3. By launching your own project, freelancing in industries outside of Web3, 
industry or contributing through non-code only roles at Web3 companies, you can create multiple income streams as a Web3 developer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to continue to see more Web3 AI and solopreneur developer videos, and I will see you all in the next one.